Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dragon's Dogma 2 Let's Play. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to start this side quest for Sir Gregor? Gregory? Gregor. Okay. And it is quite far. It is all the way over here. So we're going to run, follow all of this. I tried to track this the best I could. And I think we go off right in here. I'm not positive, but it kind of seems that way. So let's get started. We're not even going to rest. Maybe we should. Do we have any meat on us? Don't think we do. It's all right. We'll get some on the way. Oh, we can't rest. That's right. This is a timed quest. Okay. Well, we'll just go straight there. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not let down our guard. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Is it still alive? Was it still alive? Well done, Master. Let's go over here and help this person or this pawn. was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. We'll take each trial as it comes. Samus is a badass. Eh, looks like the sun's coming up. Maybe we don't have to travel at night for too long. Would that such tranquility could last? Right you are. Put our bow away so we can move faster. I th Oh, <laughs> of course, as soon as I'm like, yeah, put the bow away. We run into some more enemies. <laughs> Headshot. Wait right there. Yeah, Samus, get yourself healed. Hey. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Be steak. Phantoms. Why are they still out? It's pretty much daylight. Come on, Lucy. Thank you. I 
I do not like fighting phantoms because they disappear so you're not able to actually hit them every single time. Am I going the wrong way? Oh my god, I am. Oh, Alright, let's put a marker down. <laughs> I can't believe we just backtracked here. I was like, man, this is starting to look familiar. Like we're Perhaps heading back to the capital. No the matter, but might I add, the Arisen has chosen to fill our ranks with women. And yet no two of us are the same. I'm gonna fill the ranks with just men. I don't know how many times I've heard that dialogue and ladders. Excuse me, Risen, there's a ladder. Why is that thing like hauling butt? There's a Cyclops over there. So we're going up this way, right? Yes. This Stamina is filled. Information. Shall we take a closer look? Nope. Trying to make it to our destination. Which I totally backtracked on. Herpes. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guard. Well fought, Arisen. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. The battle continues. Outstanding. No one can defend themselves when grappled like this. <laughs> what was Come Samus on. doing? Oh my goodness. Let my magic I'm all defensive. over the place with my bow there for a second. By the way, these golden beetles, I found out they permanently upgrade your carry weight. And I've been selling them because I'm dumb. Not let me get hit. Ow. <laughs> uh, just seeing him fly up into the air is really funny. Let's get moving. Yep, I right hear goblins oh, you came out of nowhere and those headshots today where are they at right here The archers growing on me is just, man, I really need something to 
where I'm not taking in as much aggro. Yeah, I don't care about the push? boulder. No. No, Lucy. I don't care about that boulder. We need to go help Sir Gregor. Oh, there's a... At, at first, I thought it was just oxes, but there is a... Um, I forget what they are called. Oh my god, there's so many fucking goblins. We good with the goblins now? Holy moly. Now that we got to our first checkpoint, let's put another one. Well, that's just going to take us right over there. Let's put another one right here so we know, okay, this is where we need to stop and then see if we go up this way. I don't want to waste any more time if I can help it. Besides fighting enemies. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. Come on, Samus. Ran all the way over there for one measly wolf. Yeah, we're not gonna go over there. That looks like a hot mess. Plus, there's some goblins right here. Here we go again. If battle cannot be avoided, tis fight or die. Of course. Nice, Samus. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Cyclops over there. I am proud of my devotion, as well I should be. I have an inkling this place will yield a rarity or two. Well spotted. I fear I've much to attend to. What are you doing way out here? Shouldn't you be at the Gracious Hand? That looks like uh, one of the Gracious Hand ladies. And there's a dragon over there. i just seen its wings. No, thank you. Dude, Samus, get out of my way. Loot this stuff real fast. Anything over here? Heck yeah, there is. Can you guys go kill the goblin that's like throwing shit? There you go. Where is that goblin at? Up there. 
It's all right. I took care of it. Since nobody else could. I have a mage, a sorcerer, and I can understand Samus not being able to get up there, but come on. Everybody else could have easily got up there. Hopefully we're getting close. Looks like the quest is about to run out. I think we need to stop wasting time. Ought to make our journey easier. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. There's a griffin over that way. Geez, there is a lot of huge enemies around. But we're not wasting any more time. We're, we got to get to our destination before Sir Gregor dies. Because he's supposed to be fighting a... Dula hand, I think it was called. Come on, don't worry about the goblins, guys. Oh, maybe we do have to worry about the goblins. My bad. One of us has been nope, I am not fighting that griffin. Griffin, you keep doing what griffins do best. Looking all majestic and shit. I am out of here. Come on, ladies. Help me out, Lucy. Holy moly. Alright, Griffin is not our objective. Come on. Focus. A moment of indecision may spell our doom. Come on. Shit. Not good. Not good. Don't know what hit me, but it was not good. Whatever it was. Hail. Truly. Fall back, and I will heal you with my magic. Wait a moment. I can't even see what I'm doing. That's my magic's gone to an elemental boon. Oof. That was a whole mess of nonsense. It's getting dark. Oh, I bet this is going to be like the Misty Forest or Misty Woods from Dragon's Dogma 1. Holy moly, it just got really dark. During my travels beyond the rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have yet to explore. Shall I take us there? Holy attacks will serve us well here. I don't think we even have holy attacks, do we? These fiends are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. You okay, Valerie? Jesus. Whatever happened to you, it messed you up. Where are they at? Over there. Let's 
Samus keeps going off the beaten path. I don't want to go off the beaten path, guys. Don't know this place. I'm just going to get lost. Uh, it kind of looks like we're getting further from our destination. I don't know if that's my fire or Valkyrie's fire. Help, Lucy! Help! Hang in there, Master. I'm coming to assist. Whoa! That lightning attack really messes with my eyes, man. Every single time that happens. So close a call offers no solace in victory. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Yes, Master. I shall hasten to your own. I grant you fire blade. Use it well. Valkyrie's doing a good job. Are we going the right way? I feel like we're going the wrong way, man. I like that they make them talk. Jesus, Samus. Is there a way down? Ah, uh, there is. I think I really think we need to uh, go down. We keep going down that path. We're going to miss our destination. Hopefully, Sir Gregor's all right. Awesome, Lucy leveled up too. Oh, I think that's them. Let's run over there to their aid. You? What are you doing? I have not pulled a cut. All fast, soldiers. All is not lost yet. I feel like I'm doing no damage to him. Hey Samus, wanna go over there and actually help? Where the hell is it at? Oh, there it is. I don't even know what it's weak against. Shit. course <laughs> Let my magic your Help! Oh my god. We're going to die. <laughs> I just am at a constant heal. I can't do anything. I help out Samus just to... Oh, please don't let me fall to my death. Are you kidding me? Leave me alone, dude. 
No! Dude, this thing is no fucking joke. Can you guys not fight by the water? That's really dumb to do, guys. So fucking dumb. Whew. Whew, is that over? What's this? Where's the fiend gone? Has it fled? I can hardly believe it. I fought at Dullahan and she'll live to tell the tale. But fie, I've just remembered. See, I hadn't thought I'd return alive, but I didn't want to worry my wife when I departed. So I took a letter with me just in case, and when the tide of battle threatened to overwhelm us, I sent a runner to bear it to my wife, mere moments before your arrival. It would be an awkward thing for her to read my final farewell only for me to arrive on the morrow, fit as a fiddle. Though I dare say she'd forgive me. Oh, it will be a blessing enough to see her again. I can ask for no more than that. Right, I'd best be off, if I'm to make it home before that letter arrives. Oh, and if I've not said it yet, thank you, sir. I'm well and truly in your debt. Ugh, yeah. I almost died to save you, bud. It's taking every ounce of my strength just to remain standing. I'm with this you, CMS. This will never end. I only hope we don't encounter any foes. I hope not either. Let's see. I think I saw... Yes. Okay, campfire. Ah, oh, excellent find. I'm going to go up the ladder for a second. But we need to rest. There's no way that I can make it all the way back. So what we'll do is I'm going to rest at this campsite. And after I'm done resting, we will... Cool. It's not timed anymore. I was hoping that it wouldn't be timed anymore. We'll go back. We'll tell Margit uh, that we saved her husband. We'll do this a place to call home because I think I seen that pop up as we were traveling. And we'll go over to the house of the blue sunbright and see if that's done. So, I'm going to rest here. After that, I will see everybody um, over in Vernworth. See everybody in just a minute. I'm back at Vernworth. Now we can go ahead and turn in this side quest that we got for helping out Sir Gregor. Very Let's well. go, ladies. I shall return. I'm pretty sure he or his wife. I think we need to go talk to his wife. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. I don't know if he made it back before us or not. Probably considering I did rest and then I ran straight here. I didn't mess with anything. Wasn't any enemies to really fight because we already killed them. Sir Arisen, I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. I, you've my humblest gratitude, sir. If not for you, I'd ne'er have made it home. Still, I doubt this is the last we'll be hearing from Sir Ludolf. He's not like to admit defeat after only one attempt. Where will I be sent next, I wonder? 
Have you not heard, my love? Sir Ludolf has fallen deathly ill. He has? Aye, he was poisoned. From the tell of it, it was concealed in a gift. A bottle of wine or some such. But I suppose it's not so surprising. A dastardly man like that must have had no shortage of enemies. True enough. I'm sure no few held a grudge against him for all he's done. Indeed. Perhaps one might call this his just desserts. <laughs> My master and I fought a hard battle against the Dullahan, only for Sir Gregor to fall. At least he lives on here. Splendid. That's hilarious. I'm pretty sure that lady poisoned uh, Sir Ludolf's wine. A place to call home. Oh, wait, no. House of the Blue Sunbright, because we're over here in the noble quarters. I wonder how Master Sebastian and Miss Daphne fare of late. Okay. Can Shall we pay them a visit? Yes. <laughs> I was trying to pronounce Minotaur earlier. I could not think of the name. I kept wanting to be like, oh, a Taurus or something. But it's a Minotaur that I didn't want to fight earlier. Home at last. Welcome home, young master. Thank you, Diana. I am glad to be back. Twas a hard journey, but I found what I sought. A blue sunbright, the sigil of our house. I only hope mother will be pleased. Oh, a blue sunbright. I thought they were make-believe. Oh, no. They're quite real. Rather rare, though, and particularly to Melv. I'm surprised you've heard of them, to be frank. Really? Well, there's a picture of one stuck to the inner cover of a book that was donated to the Gracious Hand. I asked Sir Kendrick about it. He told me the flower's name. A picture, you say? How very odd. I believe Miss Daphne is describing a book plate. The book in question will have been a donation from this very house. Indeed, the mistress has been very generous in her support of the gracious hand over the years. For true? Oh, I must tell her thank you. I think I could arrange that. I am certain my mistress would be delighted. Yes. Well, as for me, I'm just pleased to be home safe and sound. All this racket! What's going on? Good gracious, what is the meaning of this? Oh, you must be the lady who's been supporting the gracious hand. Thank you ever so much for all you've done for us. What precisely have you told this girl? Not a word, mistress. I swear it. Good. As for you, girl, you need not thank me. Tis the privilege of the nobility to help those who are less fortunate. Now, tis getting late. You had best be off. Do be sure to leave the house unseen. And fare you well, child. Know that where'er life may lead you, you may take pride in who you are. Come, Diana. I would speak with you alone. You have some explaining to do. What was that all about? Mother seemed awfully perturbed. I do wonder what that was all about. Though I'm not sure we ought to pry. A bitter end breeds no satisfaction. Yeah, that was really strange. I have a feeling that that little girl is the daughter of um that woman a full week has passed since sir mildred set off i suppose it's time we vacated her dwelling pray allow me to show you the way we're Man. in your hands sir much obliged i wish there was a setting to turn how often the pawns talk down maybe not turn them off but at least to be like not so often it's a little obnoxious, if I'm going to be honest. We're here, Master. Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? As for me, 
I made the most of my week-long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself over much. You see, I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to, methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought, mayhap you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from me? I can't just give it to you, mind. I've my relocation costs to consider, but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. Well, friend, what say you? Twenty thousand gold? That's quite a bit, but we have ninety thousand, so yeah. I mean it'll save us money from resting at a tavern or an inn. Much obliged, friend. I hope you're as pleased with our deal as I am. This little dwelling's all yours now. I suppose I'd best be off. I've my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Farewell. We have the gift of the bow, but where is that? Man, that's far too. Not nearly as far as what we went though. Just up this way. Maybe next video we'll, uh, because we don't have really that much time to go all the way over there. Because I would like to actually run it. I was I was looking at this like this way. Maybe like, oh, go this way. No, if we come up this way, instead of going left, we take that right and come up. Cool, cool. Uh, what else do we have quest-wise? Return to the... Uh, return to Captain Brant and hear the findings of his investigation. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? If you feel overburdened, mayhap I could carry some things for you. He's not around until nighttime. Let's sit and rest. Talk to Captain Brant. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Tell me about the agent you captured. Did you learn anything new? Ah, yes. Regarding your pursuer from some days past, as we suspected, he was indeed an agent from Batal. When he learnt of your majesty's escape, he began inquiring after your movements. Tis a glad thing we captured him before matters escalated. As to how he learned your majesty's location with such ease, I intend to extract the answers from him anon. I shall be sure to inform you when I do. Pray. Take this. Tis the So the agent was of Batal after all. Tis rather eerie that someone should be sent across the border to spy on you. Sorry, I did not mean to skip that dialogue. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. As a true arisen. Tell me more about the false sovereign. What do you know? While examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds, I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems, she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flour. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet, tis strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Romond, 
I dare say, twas not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign. Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. Sure, I can do that. I am glad to hear it. For I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deez's scheme and securing your enthronement. The Nameless Village. Where is that at? Come up over here. Go through this area. Doesn't look that far. But I don't think we have enough time to do it today. So maybe we'll come up and then to the Nameless Village. And then when we pick up next time, we will start that quest right away. Where's our house at? I think it's over here. It is. Oh, cool. Thanks, Daphne. Answer, Gregor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest until morning, put some stuff away, and I will see everybody after I do all of that. See everybody in just a second. Alrighty. Now that we got all that done, let's go ahead and start making our way over towards that quest. I, must be vigilant. The townspeople I think we need to go this way if we're going to get out. I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Indeed. Tell is, there's been a shift in the chain of command. And this place is so confusing. <laughs> I'm always getting lost. Oxcarts make for relatively safer travel. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. Pretty sure this is the right way. We're going to look at the map as soon as we cross this bridge. When does my watch end? I've clean forgotten. Some wolves. Okay, so we need to come up this way. Take a right or actually we can come up and over. That'll probably be easier than coming down this way and then over. Because then we can come up this way. Sure. Let's put a marker there. Marker there. I think that'll be fine. We'll play it by ear. Wolves, Buster! It's fierce fire's fury. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Huzzah! Come on, ladies. I'm gonna try not to fight very much because then it's just going to waste time that we don't really have. Saurians suck at fighting them with an archer. Wonder if a uh, fighter or warrior or even a thief would do any better oh, this way. It, our ranks have gone unchanged for a while now. Our combined might is a force to be reckoned with. 
I say we forge on together for as long as we may. I'm like, yeah, we're not going to fight very much. And then I sit there and fight a bunch of stuff. I hate when the pawns are like right in my way and I can't see what I'm aiming at. Oh, there's still another one. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Okay, I'm gonna get lost here if I don't look. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Erase all. And then right here, I'm going to put a marker. That way I know where I'm going. What's this yellow marker for? We can defeat the monsters. Well fought, Arisen. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. The battle continues. Outstanding. I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. Want that golden trove, beetle? We've no cause to visit a campsite as yet, methinks. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors. You've my gratitude. I've been meaning to thank you. Here. Nice, a thousand gold? Nothing wrong with that. Come on, ladies, let's then go. I shall by your side. Don't even bother with them. Oh, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> We're not even going to mess with the Cyclops right now. We need to go up this way. Oh, there's a griffin that was flying down that way. able to get up this way okay well that's blocked is there a way around eastern forest campsite so maybe we need to go around this way let's put a marker over here see if we can't go around if we can't go around we're gonna have to cut the video and then we'll come back and try to figure it out. There's a campsite here. Hop down right here. Some green warish. I need that. The amount I used earlier. We have found the hell is that? I'm sure we find it. Oh, a Minotaur? We are definitely not fighting that right now. Come on, guys. I don't know where we're going, but come on. Get... What are you doing? Get up there. Can we get up no here? Shall come to you. Is there a way over here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. Well, whoever's dead, you gotta be dead. Uh, Valkyrie. Yeah, no. 
no. Sorry, Valkyrie. But I can't help you. Sometimes the pawns are stupid, man. You going the right way? I think this is where the path was blocked. It is. Oh my god, that's so annoying, yo. Oh, let's go fucking help Valkyrie. Man. Sure. Can you follow me, Valkyrie, please? I'm saved. Thank you, Arisen. Get up. Oh, come on. Get up there. Come on, ladies. No time to waste. We're not fighting this Minotaur. This was eventful. <laughs> Oof. Really, guys? Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna have to fight this Minotaur. Come on, Valkyrie. Alright, I'll see everybody back when the Minotaur is dead. Alrighty, everyone. I finally killed that Minotaur. I think a traitor or somebody died? I don't know. They fell in the water with the Minotaur. Which I lost all of its loot. Sucks. But whatever. It is what it is. At least it died. And yeah. That was eventful. <laughs> Things aren't as hectic though. So I guess what we'll do is the outro. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.